There is more breaking news tonight. In an interview published in the latest edition of New York Magazine, a woman claims that President Trump assaulted her 23 years ago at an upscale New York City department store. Late today, President Trump issued a blistering denial, saying, among other things, he had never met the woman and that she was lying to, quote, sell a new book. CNN's Jason Carroll joins us now. Jason, tell us what we know about these allegations and what exactly Ms. Carroll is accusing the president of and what has he said about it? Well, the president is issuing a very strong denial tonight against accusations. He forced himself on author and advice columnist E. Jean Carroll at a department store in Manhattan more than 20 years ago. Carroll raised the allegations in a just-published New York Magazine article tied, uh, she tied the publication of her to her new book, uh, What Do We Need Men For? A Modest Proposal. In the article, Jim, she writes the following, and again, these are very serious allegations. The moment the dressing room door is closed, he lunges at me, pushes me against the wall, hitting my head quite badly, puts his mouth against my lips. She then continues, she says, I am shocked. Um, he uh, shoved, I shoved him back and he started laughing. He sees both my arms and pushes me up against the wall a second time. And as I become aware of how large he is, he holds me against the wall with his shoulder and jams his hand under my coat dress and pulls down my tights. However, the president says, I've never met this person in my life, adding shame on those who make up false stories of assault to try to get publicity for themselves or sell a book or carry out some sort of political agenda. He continues, no pictures, no surveillance, no video, no reports, no sales attendants around. I would like to thank Bergdorf Goodman, again, that's the department store, for confirming they have no video footage of any such incident because he says it never happened. False accusations diminish the severity of real assault. Trump then goes on, Jim, to ask for help, saying, if anyone has information that the Democratic Party is working with Mrs. Carroll or New York Magazine, please notify us as soon as possible. The world should know what's really going on. It is a disgrace, and people should pay dearly for such false accusations. Despite Trump saying they never met, Carroll published a picture showing her chatting with Trump. You see it there during a holiday party in the 1980s. And New York Magazine says they reached out to Carroll's two friends who corroborated what she did disclose uh, about the attack at the time. Trump says the story is made up and, quote, should be sold in the fiction section. He was taped during a 2005 Access Hollywood interview saying he liked to grab women by their private parts, adding, when you're a star, they let you do it. CNN has reached out to Carol, but, Jim, she has yet to respond. Jason Carroll, thank you. Uh, disturbing allegations there. Joining me now again, Maggie Haberman. She's, of course, covered the president uh, long before he became commander-in-chief. So, Maggie, here we are again. Uh, sadly, another woman accusing the president uh, not just of sexually assaulting and groping him, uh, more serious allegations this time around, uh, a physical force here. Your he, reaction? He, I, it, look, I mean, these are obviously very disturbing allegations, and they are very serious. Um, and it is not the first time this president has been accused mm -hmm. of misconduct uh, of some kind or another with women. In. We certainly know about the excess Hollywood tape. Mm -hmm. I, 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 he certainly has a right to defend himself, and his statement is more forceful than his statements have been on, a, on some of these in the past. But he has a one thing that he tends to do with regularity, which is to say he's never met somebody who, mm. when there's photographic evidence that he has. Yeah. And, and this is another example of it. And that just doesn't help his case when he's trying to, um, you know, fight back against a, a very serious allegation. And for folks who might be seeing this picture for the first time, uh, she is the woman on the left, just over Trump's right shoulder there, uh, blonde woman. Uh, she is the one who has made this allegation now. I, I mean, you mentioned his response. It is forceful. Uh, it hit back, hits back on a number of levels mm -hmm. here. Uh, but on that one point, saying he'd ever met when there is photographic evidence, uh, but, but also alleging a political motivation here, uh, even comparing this to what happened to Brett, Brett Kavanaugh, uh, it, it's sort of a greatest hits of the president's defenses, is it not, when faced with allegations like this? It is. I mean, but I also think that you have to look at it in the context of his, where we are right now in terms of the election cycle. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the prism for that response. He, you know, there was a part of it where it talked about, if anyone knows if she's working with the Democrats, please let yeah. me know, or something yeah. to that effect. And I think you are increasingly going to see 
uh, any any allegation, whether it's this kind or, or uh, something else, I think you are going to see the president or his aides suggesting that it is part of a broader yeah. effort to undermine him. No question. Uh, the, the other part of the president's statement, which is notable, uh, of course, is, is this claim. Uh, I'm quoting here: "All should condemn false accusations and any actual assault uh, in the strongest possible terms." I mean, kind of claiming the mantle, as it were, to say that well. You know, th th this right. is, you know, I, I want to defend the actual victims of sexual assault. The, the, there has been, there has been some asymmetry for how uh, the Republican Party broadly has dealt with uh, accusations of misconduct when it has been um, among somebody who is known among Democrats like Harvey Weinstein. And mm. the way that they're drawing the line on that is he, he has been charged with something. Um, it's not the same when someone hasn't been charged, such as a Steve Wynn, the casino right. magnet and friend of the president who, you know, was recently, he was, he was basically kicked off of the RNC's fundraising, but is, still is around and is still a donor. Um, and why they are sort of suggesting this is is not the same as, as what the president has been accused of. I, I, I think that um, I think that the, this president is aware, and I think that his teamer is aware that he has a, a he has trouble with women voters, and mm. they are looking to try to address that any way they can. No question. Uh, everything through a political lens at this right. point. Maggie Haberman, thanks very much. Thank you.